Hi, this is Joe from SoFly, and today I'm going to show you how easy it is to demo your Femur plugin to potential customers using WP Sandbox. So I've just created an account with Sandbox, and I'm brought here to the dashboard. The dashboard will usually display all the different installs that you have, but I don't have any yet. So I'll go ahead and create one. Now going to this URL here will create the uh, Sandbox install for us. So we'll go ahead and click that. Now these sites are all created on the fly. Uh, so the site creation is happening right now. So the goal here is to use this WordPress site to showcase my software to my users. I work on WPL import, so I'll show you how to set up a demo for WPL import. So what I need to do here is install the plugin. This is a uh, full WordPress install. It's totally unrestricted. Uh, we find it's really important to do that because our customers want to see how our software works with other people's software. So we let them do whatever they want. If they want to try it with a theme or whatever, they can do that, and Sandbox is not going to get in the way at all. So I'll go ahead and select uh, WPL import here. We'll go ahead and install it. And activate the plugin. And we're done. So um, I would like my users to be redirected here when they use my product. Um, so what we'll do is we'll go over to Sandbox. And what we need to do first is we need to create a Sandbox template. What that's going to do is it'll save the current version of the website. And there we go. So now there is a copy of this website. Um, and if I go to this URL, I will get a new WordPress install based off of this website's template. Um, so I'll go ahead and create one just to give it a test. And we're creating the website now. And you can see here that my um, plugin is here and we're in Gleaming Crocodile before we were over in Blue Stag, so we have two websites now. Um, and if I want to make a, uh, any changes here, I click Save Sandbox Template and then all the new WordPress installs that are created from this link are going to be using the new template. So um, if I added some data or posts or something, I could just save the template again and then uh, this duplication URL would use the new template. Um, so let's take this and we'll put it into my demo site. So right here I have a button I created. This is a really simple page. It just says, hey, you want to try WPL import? Click here to create a demo site. And this button is just going to be a URL to the duplication URL from Sandbox. So I'll go ahead and add that here. Set link, save changes update and I refresh this page and give it a test all right so here is my demo site now I can go ahead and I'm gonna make this a little bit better um, it's not a great uh, experience to just be thrown into the panel here into the WordPress dashboard um, and also, I'm not a huge fan of this welcome notice. So what I'm going to do is I'll go back to my dashboard and I'll refresh the page so that I get to see uh, Blue Stag, which is my uh, template site. Now the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to remove the uh, expiration date here. And so then that way my WordPress site will never expire. Um, by default, our WordPress installations will expire seven days after the last time an admin logs in. Um, you can add time, you can remove the expiration date if you want, or you can just go ahead and delete them like this. Uh, if you delete an install, it will obviously be deleted and it won't count towards the number of uh, active installs that you have. So now let's create a um, redirect URL. That means is basically whenever somebody logs into my site using this duplication URL, they'll be redirected to the page that I want them to be. So we're here in blue stag. I want them to go to the new import page. 
So we'll grab the uh, relative URL. This is the full URL. I just want this part here. So we'll take that and we'll go ahead and copy it here. And now I have a new duplication URL. I'm gonna go ahead, update my button to use the new one. And we'll set the link, save changes. And I refresh this page here. All right, let's give it a test. Perfect. So now my users are redirected to this page. I think this could probably be a little bit better, so let's go ahead and edit that. We'll go over here to welcome notice, and this is um, this is all the information that's driving it. You can see here that um, this information, like all the CSS and everything, we uh, let you do whatever you want. So by default, we put in the uh, CSS that makes it look like a default uh, admin notice, but you can modify that and do whatever you want. Um, so what I'm going to do is I am just going to add a little note here down at the bottom that says, let's see, we'll just have it say, um, thanks for trying WPL import. If you have any questions, please send us an email. And then I will uh, just add a little mail to link here. Report at wplport.com. All right, let's see what that looks like. Perfect. All right, we'll save that. Now, all of this is actually stored on the server. So um, these welcome notices uh, here in the site are pulled down from our server so that you, you don't need to, um, they get updated in real time. So that's that. So it's been just a couple minutes and we already have a full demo site set up on my uh, wplimport.com website. Um, we set this demo up here for a plugin for a theme. It's pretty much the exact same thing. You install your theme and then you decide where you want your users to be redirected to, create a template, put the duplication URL onto your website somewhere, and you're done. So, thanks for watching, and we hope that you love WP Sandbox.